In this video, we're going to take a look at factoring trinomials that have a coefficient of the squared term or a leading coefficient other than 1. So something of this form where we have ax squared plus bx plus c where a is not equal to 1. So let's see. By grouping. If you remember factoring by grouping, what we do is we have a four-term polynomial where we factor something out of the first two terms, factor something out of the second two terms, and then we end up with a binomial that's shared by both that we can pull out to the front and factor. Well, you might look at these and say, well, these are trinomials. How, what, do, what do you mean by uh, grouping? Well, what we can do is if we take A, the first term here, and multiply it by C, that will give us a number. Then if we can rewrite or ungroup those middle terms, remember when we FOIL, we get four terms out of there when we FOIL binomials. So if we can ungroup that middle term, we'll have a four-term polynomial, which then we can factor by grouping and factor that way. So let's take a look at an example here. So for this one we have 2 times 5, we take a times c, so we have 2 times 5 which is 10. So I'm looking for factors of 10 that add up to 11. Well, those factors of 10 that add up to 11 will be 1 and 10. So let's break this 11v up into 1 and 10. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write 2v squared plus 1v, or just v, plus 10v plus 5. Okay, so notice what I did here. I just took that 11v and I rewrote it. I broke it up into two pieces. If I combine those back, it would be the 11v, which I started with. Now, I'm going to factor this by grouping. So remember, factoring by grouping, I look at the two terms and then two terms, pull out what I can out of those, and then take it from there. So in this case, the first one, the first two terms have a v in common, so I'm going to pull a v out of there, and I have 2v, and well, we take a v out of there, so we have plus 1, so 2v plus 1. In this second pair of two terms, we can take a 5 out of those, so this would be plus 5, and I'm going to take 10v divided by 5, that gives me 2v, and 5 divided by 5 would be plus 1. Now, notice what happened. We have 2v plus 1 here, 2v plus 1 here. So I'm going to pull that out to the front, which is going to give me 2v plus 1. And then what's left here when I take a 2v plus 1 out? Well, I have v. And then over here, take a 2v plus 1 out, I'm left with 5. So we have v plus 5. Okay, now we can always double check, make sure we've got the right thing, just FOIL it back. So 2v times v is v squared, 2v times 5 is 10v, 1 times v is 1v, one, one 10v plus 1v is 11v, that middle term, and then 1 times 5 is 5. Let's try another one here and uh, see if we can't uh, figure this out again. So for, let's do this one right here. We're going to take those first, the a times the c, so in this case it's 12, and I'm looking for factors of 12 that add up to 8. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to have uh, 2 and 6 will add up to 8. So I'm going to rewrite this as minus 6n minus 2n, so there's my 2 and 6. And those factors, the when we multiply those, we get 12. When we add those together, there's that minus 8n. So we un, we pulled apart that middle term to the two terms that could make it up. Now I can factor by grouping again. So these first two terms, they have a 3n in common. So I'm going to pull that out front. So we have 3n. 3n squared divided by 3n is going to be n. Then we have minus 6n divided by 3n is going to be minus 2. Then over here, <clears throat> I'm going to pull a negative 2 out of there. So I have minus 2. Divide this by negative 2. That gives me n. And then positive 4 divided by negative 2. 
is negative 2. Okay, so I have that n minus 2 in common. Going to pull that out front. n minus 2 like so, and then 3n minus 2, and it's factored. Again, you could double check by foiling and see that we get back to what we started with. All right, let's try this next one over here. In this case, we're going to take, again, 3 times 5 is 15, but since this is minus, we're going to take, we want factors that have a difference of 2. Factors of 15, 3 times 5, that have a difference of 2. So we have 3p squared. I need to break this up. Let's see, factors of 15 with a difference of 2 would be 5 and 3. I want to end up with a minus 2p. So I'm going to do minus 5p plus 3p minus 5. Okay, so notice what I did. I took the um, negative 2p, broke it up into those factors. This would combine back to that minus 2p. Now, factor by grouping. So in these first two terms, we have a p in common. So I'll take that out front. p, and then this is 3p. Take a p out of this minus 5p to leave me with minus 5. Then in this part, notice there's no common factor. So I just have plus 3p minus 5. Then I have that 3p minus 5 in common, so I'll pull that out front. I have 3p minus 5. Then I'm going to, uh, what do I have left? Well, take the 3p minus 5 out of here. I'm left with a p take the 3p minus 5 here and I'm left with a 1. Be careful with that one. Sometimes people don't want anything there. Well, if we didn't have anything there, it was just times p, that would just be this first piece. We have to have that 1 there to get this part of our um, expression. So there we are. Again, you could foil it back and find that we have 3p times p is 3p squared. 3p times 1 is positive 3p, then minus 5p, combine those to get minus 2p, negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. All right, let's try one last one right here. In this one, we've got our a and c, 5 times 12 is 60. Okay, so factors of 60 that add up to, this is telling me whether they add or have a difference, this right here. So factors of 60 that add up to 19. Hmm. 60, let's see. How about 15 and 4? 15 plus 4 would add up to 19. So we'll go plus 15n and plus 4n. Broke that 19n up into those two pieces. So we have that. And then just get to factor by grouping. So these two have a 5n in common, so I'm going to pull that out front, and then I have an n left there. 5n squared divided by 5n is n. 15n divided by 5n would be 3, so n plus 3. Then these have a 4 in common, so I'll take that out front. So 4, divide that by 4 to get n. 12 divided by 4 to get 3, like so. Then, again, I have that n plus 3 in common, so I'll pull that out front and 5n plus 4 just like so all right again you could foil it back see that we end up with what we started with so factoring trinomials by grouping uh, this is handy for us when this a value right here is not equal to 1 and we take the middle term break it up into the factors of a times c, so the first times the third term, that either add up to, if it's got the plus sign here, or have a difference of whatever that b term is. Break those up, and then we can factor by grouping, and off we go. Hope this video is helpful, and I know if you keep working hard, you'll do outstanding on your math. Keep after it.